first alert forecast is just some clouds starting to stir around. At least we do not need the rain gear yet. That will be a different story tomorrow. So for your Thursday, we're starting out with really more of a mostly clear sky since a lot of this is high cloud cover. Just filters that sunlight a bit. Sunrise 730 on the dot. Uh, definitely still calling it a layer day. Uh, starting out on average around 34 degrees. So the warm jacket comes in handy and then we still have a warm afternoon. We just don't need the sunglasses as much. At times it'll even look mostly cloudy, but we're calling it more of a partly cloudy day since it's coming coming in in scattered clouds. We still have a good southwesterly wind in our favor here, warming us from 34 to start to 52 at noon. Still right around the normal high at lunch. High today, 61 degrees. 10 degrees above average, and then we'll hold off rain until later tonight. So if you have some evening plans, you're good to go there. The clouds actually start slowing down our cooling, so there is a bonus. But in that first alert forecast where you live, like I said, we're all still well above average, slightly cooler for some spots today, but you're still aimed at 63 in Athens to 62 Loudoun and 61 Knoxville to Maryville. First alert forecast where you live, I think you'll hit around 57 in Crossville to Jamestown today. That's where I've got you at the first alert forecast where you live. 59 Middlesbrough, Harlan, your high today, 58. We're calling for 60 in Dandridge and 61 in Pigeon Forge on this partly cloudy Thursday. Those layers of clouds continue to flow through this evening, but really becoming more mostly cloudy late evening. Notice the rain starts knocking at our door. Spotty rain arrives on the plateau between 9 and 10. We'll get a couple of those pockets of rain to then drop down into the valley around midnight. You might hear some rain knocking around the windows, the roof there, but it really becomes more scattered by tomorrow morning. So that's where we'll start getting some batches of rain, covering up a little bit more of our area when folks would need to be leaving. Right now it's aimed at around 9 a.m. currently from Knoxville to Maryville, get a little pocket of rain there, hit or miss rain then tomorrow midday as we have a batch north and some scattered rain south. So we'll stick with more of a 40% coverage becoming spottier late afternoon to evening, keeping on that on and off trend before we have more rain coming up Friday night into Saturday. So when we add up Friday's rainfall too being scattered, you can see a hit or miss few hundredths to a tenth and then some isolated quarter of an inch of rain. It's much, much rainier in terms of coverage and rainfall potential on Saturday. So tomorrow, definitely don't cancel plans, but you want the rain gear with you. We'll go from 47 in the morning to 53 at noon. Your high will be 58. Then it'll be rainier on Saturday. Still on the warm side, though. We'll have some scattered rain Friday night into early Saturday. Here comes another wave of some moderate rain throughout the morning. Saturday, some isolated heavier downpours. Go ahead and start drenching more of our area. We've got you in an 80% coverage Saturday. That's a wave in the morning. Does look to be a little more scattered on showers midday to early afternoon. And another wave of moderate to heavy rain lifts up late afternoon to evening on Saturday, making Saturday night to early Sunday morning another rainier time period. But not all weekend. We're still getting in that lull of clouds and spotty showers for Sunday. So I want to show you this rainfall potential. You see what I mean? First half of the day collects a good quarter to a half an inch, and then that tips that scale to a little more than an inch of rain by the time we get through Saturday night. Now we still have to get through one more round. This system moves on and a cold front moves up. So that's where we'll get some more moderate rain Sunday night to Monday with that wrap around cool air changing over to some scattered snow showers in our higher elevations late Monday to Tuesday. So we can stick with above average temperatures. I'd say not too bad of course today. Then you have your scattered rain tomorrow Sunday afternoon. Not bad there with only spotty rain during the day. But then we start feeling the effects of that cold front with the on and off rain Monday, leaving us in the upper 40s for highs next Tuesday and Wednesday.